Most people, when they've had an absence from making videos, they go out of their way to make a good list of excuses on why they haven't made a video. Well, I'm going to give you five excuses that have nothing to do with why I haven't made a video. Excuse number one, my shirt, kind of holy. Number two, the show community is back on the air. Yay! Number three, Mr. Laptop hard drive died. Number four, crippling depression. Number five, I got married. Wait, no, that's not right. I read it wrong. Mauled by a bear. First thing you'll probably notice is trying to class up the place a little bit. Don't let the fact that I'm recording in my bedroom remove any weight to what I just said. Seems like the big talk lately is the Kindle Fire. A lot of people are claiming this is the next iPad killer that killed just like all those other iPad killers that came up before it. Not really buying that one. The Fire is probably going to be an excellent product. I don't know if it's going to be something that I want. Of course, I need something that allows me to run free software on it. That's why I like the uh, any tablet that can run the Cyanogen mod is pretty much right now is only the HP tablet, ViewSonic G tablet, which is, I think, the best one out of the bunch, and of course the Nook Color. With Cyanogen Mod, you really do get more of a full tablet experience than what a lot of them bring to the table. But again, until the fire hits the market, I guess the jury is kind of out. Of course, this brings me to another thing that I probably bitched too much about, but I, I'm going to go into it one more time, and that's the fact that Tablets cannot replace computers. I know for a lot of things, surfing the web, messaging, social networks, all that kind of stuff, they do a pretty good job, but there's one thing you cannot do still. To my knowledge, there is no way to develop software in a tablet. You can't make a program on your iPad or Android tablet and then run that program in your Android or iPad. It's not there yet. We still need a lot of work in development. Even in multimedia like video editing and music editing, I know the iPad has made huge inroads with that, but you're kind of limited on software. So there's that. Next bit of news is a little more serious. Well, I guess I haven't been making a lot of videos lately because, well, you heard my excuses, but the real excuse is just shit's been crazy. And I know it seems like this is the season where people stop making videos. A lot of guys I've subscribed to haven't made videos either, so I'm not alone. But then there's also that starting next week, I may not have full internet. To save money, because money's tight, we're going down to the next tier. I don't know when I'll have the bandwidth to upload a decent video, even one shot on my shitty webcam here. And last thing I'm gonna point out, I've been pushing a lot of people in the past to try to follow me on Twitter, and then Google Plus came out, and I really don't use Twitter anymore. I feel kind of bad because I, I like what Twitter is, I like what it stands for. But Google Plus has kind of become my favorite social network. So I made a quick and easy link. If you go to uh, plus.arthursucks.com, it's a redirect to my Google Plus page. And that's the easiest way to find me and get me. So if you're on the Plus, I know it's public now follow me. I am super fun and entertaining and modest.